Good morning, Bitcoins. Today is Friday, May 9th, 2014 at 10.45 p.m. in Amsterdam, the Netherlands. How refreshing. How mad Bitcoins. And the Mad Bitcoins coin of the week is the Peer Coin. Congratulations to all of the coins. And remember, votes carry over to next week, so your coin still has a chance. Vote early and vote often. Looking forward to learning more about Peer Coin this next week. I knew there was more to you than Star Trek conventions. Join MBP to support the show and gain behind-the-scenes access at patreon.com slash madbitcoins. Time is running out. Vote for Mad Bitcoins in the 2014 Blockchain Awards. Easy to remember URL bit.ly slash vote mad. Also nominated and worthy of your vote, Sean's Outpost, Let's Talk Bitcoin, Andreas Antonopoulos and Roger Veer. The last two might refuse the award, but I really like their work, so I voted for them anyway. Here are today's mad bits. Bitcoin prices are up slightly, with Coindesk BPI reporting a last of 448, a high of 451, and a low of 434. Redcoin was way up to 7 Satoshis a coin. Litecoin is at $10.65. This episode of Mad Bitcoins is sponsored by Redcoin. Still tipping Redcoin with a heavy hand? Mention Mad Bitcoins and Redcoin on Twitter and see what happens. Now pandering with the Bitcoin logo in the upper left hand corner, it's the USA Today. Feds approve Bitcoins for campaign contributions. Money is speech. Speech money. That is all you need to know on earth and all you need to know. The FEC, not to be confused with the SEC, which recently warned investors like a lifeguard at a shark tank that Bitcoin investing is risky, announced unanimously today that Bitcoin can be accepted for campaign contributions. Hooray! They did have, however, a couple of caveats, a couple of provisos, a couple of quid pro quo that really don't make any sense. They don't want to allow anonymous donations. Oops, that's impossible. And they want to scrutinize the donation for evidence of illegality. I assume they'll also be testing all of the dollar bills to make sure they don't contain cocaine. <laughs> That'd be funny if it weren't so true. The FEC also announced that they'll be judging you based upon how you made the money. If the money was made from robbing little old ladies on Wall Street or stealing candy from babies, maybe depriving Native Americans of their land, well, that's all okay. But just don't put a quarter in the box anonymously. That could cause the whole pay-for-play political system to fail. That last part I wasn't supposed to say out loud. Oops. Exposing hypocrisy. That's a steep fine. Winklevoss twins to list Bitcoin fund on NASDAQ. Bitcoin, the publicly traded stock ETF, is one step closer to reality. If the Winklevoss have their way, and they've filled out the papers, crossed the T's, and dotted the lowercase j's, someday soon you might be able to buy Bitcoin just as easily as you buy stocks. Purchase it in your 401k, forget about it, and someday you might be able to retire. It's just that easy, thanks to Bitcoin. Living on Bitcoin a year later, eating like a crypto king. Last year, Forbes writer Kashmir Hill, who lived on Bitcoins for a week in San Francisco, almost starved. Well, that's really overstating it, but she lost five pounds. But this year is different. This year, she's eating fine at underground pop-up dinners thrown by fancy chefs who not only take Bitcoin, they know what it is and they're excited to take Bitcoin. If she needs anything else, she just converts her Bitcoin into gift cards with GYFT and buys anything she wants. Before, the problem was getting her to buy things with Bitcoin. Now, the problem is getting her to stop. Until next time, 
This has been Mad Bitcoins. Mad Bitcoins. Mad Bitcoins. I've paid my dues, time after time. I've done my sentence, but committed no crime. And bad mistakes? I've made a few. I've had my share of sand kicked in my face, but I've come through.